Hello and welcome to Such the Reality. I'm Rinki Gogoi and you're watching the Reality Rundown. In tonight's bulletin, we bring you the latest updates across the state, the region and the nation. Take a look. The results of the High School Living Certificate Examinations 2024 conducted by the Board of Secondary Education Assam were declared today. A total of 4,19,078 students appeared in HSLC 2024. Of this, 75.7% students passed the exam. The top five meritorious students of the exam in order of merit are Jorhat's Anurag Doloi, Vishwanath's Jharna Saikya, Majulis Manash Patim Saikya, Borbeta's Bedon Chaudhary and Nogao's Devashri Kashyap. Out of the 4,25,966 candidates who applied for the exam, 6,888 students were absent, with 361 withheld and 61 expelled, leaving only 4,19,078 candidates who appeared. Among the appeared candidates, 1,87,904 were male, 2,31,164 were female and 10 were transgender. The overall pass percentage stood at 75.7% with male candidates achieving a pass percentage of 77.3%, female candidates at 74.4% and transgender candidates leading with 80%. In a tragic incident, a poll official who is a professor of a government college was killed in a road accident in Assam's Lakhimpur while returning from polling duty. The deceased individual identified as Rajiv Lekharu, an assistant professor at the Department of Commerce at Bihpuria College in Assam's Lakhimpur district. According to reports, he was assigned election duty for the first phase of polling in Assam, for which he had travelled to the designated polling booth. However, while returning home at the end of the polling, he met with an accident near Dulahat, about 23 kilometers from Bihpuria in Lakhimpur. He was travelling in his own vehicle, which was involved in a collision with an oncoming bus causing him to die on the spot. Gana Suraksha Party Chief Nobokumar Saranya on Friday filed his nomination papers for Kokrajhar Lok Sabha constituency despite the Guwahati High Court's ruling on Thursday which declared Saranya's scheduled tribe plane certificate invalid and making him ineligible to fight elections. While speaking to media, Saranya said he is sure that he will get a chance to contest for the forthcoming Lok Sabha elections and exuded candidate will be in the fray for the Kokrajhar seat. He claimed that only their party symbol torchlight will shine in Kokrajhar. Adding on, he stated that he is fully prepared to challenge and prove himself as a scheduled tribe member. With the first phase of Lok Sabha elections concluding on Friday, Assam witnessed high voter turnout as the electoral process continued till 7 pm last evening. All the Lok Sabha seats in Assam recorded more than 70% voter turnout. The maximum voter turnout was observed in Koliabor under Kaziranga constituency of 83.71%. In the Kaziranga parliamentary constituency, the overall turnout of 75.79% signifies a substantial engagement of the electorate. However, a deeper dive into the turnout across different legislative assembly constituencies reveals nuances. While Koliabor boasts an impressive 83.71% turnout, Horupotar lags behind at 70.38%. Manipur police arrested three persons in connection with a firing incident at polling station in Manipur's Imphal East district during voting on Friday. The firing was reported at Moriangkampu Primary School where voters had lined up in order to exercise their franchise. The arrested miscreants have been identified as Lechombam Jemson Singh, Noktombam Ratan and Kuvmuk Cham. The three had fled from the spot in a four-wheeler after the firing incident and were arrested on Friday evening less than five kilometers away from the incident site. BJP Manipur Pradesh strongly condemned yesterday's untoward incident that took place during the electoral process of first phase of 18th Lok Sabha election. 
President of BJP Manipur Pradesh A. Sarda expressed condemnation and demanded action against the perpetrators involved in the incident, calling the incident of party agents being attacked during the electoral process as highly condemnable. Sarda said that this isn't a new development and that similar incidents have taken place in earlier polls as well, where few even received bullet wounds during parliamentary elections in the past. 72.3% of voter turnout was recorded in the first phase of the Lok Sabha elections that took place on April 19. As India saw its first phase of voting for the Lok Sabha elections 2024 on Friday, two polling officials were suspended for allegedly allowing election-related malpractices in the polling booths they were assigned in West Tripura district. According to Returning Officer West Tripura, Dr. Vishal Kumar, the suspended polling officers were posted in a polling station that falls under the jurisdiction of the Raman Nagar Assembly constituency. Kumar further informed that the first phase of the Lok Sabha election was held in the West Parliamentary constituency along with the bipole in the 7th Ramnagar Assembly constituency. A woman was killed and seven others, including three children, went missing after a boat capsized in the Mahanadi River in Odisha's Jharsugoda on Friday. The incident took place when around 50 passengers hailing from the Kharsia area in neighboring Chhattisgarh were returning in the boat after visiting a temple in Patarseni Kuda in Odisha's Barga district. The police say that over 40 people have been rescued so far and a search operation is underway to find the seven missing people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday predicted that Congress stalwart Rahul Gandhi will be driven away from his parliamentary constituency Vyanand and that the party will have to find another safe seat for him. Launching a scathing attack at Rahul Gandhi, Prime Minister Narendra Modi at a rally in Maharashtra's Nanded claimed that the former was chased away from Amethi by BJP leader Smriti Irani. Prime Minister Modi claimed that in the first phase of the Lok Sabha elections, the people of the country voted on block for the BJP-led NDA. He said that the India block partners were fighting each other for the 25% Lok Sabha seats. At least one person was killed and 20 injured after a blast at a military base in Iraq used by the Iran-aligned Popular Mobilization Forces, according to security sources. The PMF said the attack late on Friday targeted the Kalsu military base located some 50 kilometers south of the capital Baghdad in the province of Babylon. Videos and images from the scene showed a huge explosion which also set fire to trees in the surrounding areas spreading the blaze. Footage from inside the base on Saturday morning showed a large crater and damage to infrastructure and vehicles. In a statement, the PMF claimed American aggression bombed the Khalso military base, which is located near the town of Iskandaria. The Iraqi military said on Saturday that there were no drones or fighter jets detected in the airspace of the Babylon area before or during the blast. Reportedly, one PMF member was killed and eight others injured in the blast. However, the United States military denied reports that it was behind airstrikes in Iraq. With that, we wind up our tonight's bulletin. For more updates, keep watching Such the Reality.